Welcome guys, uh, in this video I am going to show how to uh, build a simple uh, password toggle proof in react So this is what I am going to build So whenever I type password and click on I icon I will show this password And show hide its toggle password So I am going to create one simple hook uh, to use this um, So you can reuse this hook inside your application So all this I have was a password field and I will go and create a hook for this the hook name will be uh, use password toggle hooks are nothing but a simple uh, javascript functions where it will return few attributes and we will make use it of in the component so in this hook uh, this is going to return me two things one is the icon, the i icon, and uh, the next one is the function uh, to the type of the input field. So I'm going to uh, use a state here uh, to change the i with the i and i slash icons. So it will be like visible. So I am going to create uh, two things, one is the icon, I am going to use uh, react font awesome library here, let me uh, import uh, and add it to the library first. So if you want to know how to integrate a uh, font awesome uh, inside your uh, react application, I have other video, I will give the link in the description, you can go and check it out. So I'll just import whatever the icons I need and I'll add it to the library. Then I go back to the hook component and import font as a icon from the library. And I'm going to use this font also. And uh, conditionally, I will change the icon based on the status, visible visibility status. So if it is visible, I will actually show the slash i slash icon. If it is not visible, I will show the i icon. So here I'm going to use conditional rendering, ternary operator for this. If it is visible, it should be i slash. And if it is not visible, then I will show the i icon. So user can click on that to view the password. Next thing is the input type. Now it has to be text or password. If the password is shown, then uh, the input type should be text. Otherwise, the type should be password. So based on the visibility status, I will return whether it is a text or password. First, let me return uh, this input type, and then the second parameter would be the icon. Okay, now we'll uh, try to import and use it in the component. We didn't write the functionality for uh, on-click change. I will get back to that in few minutes. Let's first uh, import this and uh, see if it is uh, working. Which has uh, the input type, password uh, input type, and the toggle icon. Okay, let's uh, now go back to the password field and uh, in the type I will uh, use the password uh, field type and then I am going to render uh, the i component which uh, first I need to create a container for this to make it updated and place it over the input box so you, you can either uh, return it with the container from the hook or you can make it like me 
so i'm going to use it like this because depend on the input size it may differ in different places so i'll just return the icon from there and i'll use the container here so i'm going to render the toggle icon so now let's write a simple CSS for this to make it an obsolete position and replace it over the input text. So the CSS file is in the same directory, sign.css. So if you want to see, you can go and check it in the code. I will leave the link for this demo in the description where you can find the source. So position should be absolute and like move the icon towards right and center of the input box. It should be 10 pixel should be fine. I'm going to add is index for this. And cursor should be pointed. Oh, we are almost done with uh, importing the code. Let's go and check. Now we were able to see the i icon, but still uh, we didn't write the functionality to toggle it. Remember? So now the next step is to go and write a functionality for this. So it's, it's a simple function. When I click on that, I'll just toggle the state, visibility state. Go to the hook, and I'm going to add on click event for this. Callback. On this callback, I'll just uh, toggle this visibility status. And we are done with the hook. Okay. Yeah, it's done. So whenever we click on it, it will toggle the status. So let's go and check it. Uh, let's open this. And now you can see uh, it's been implemented using the hook. Now I can use it in multiple places wherever we want in your application. The link for this uh, demo will be uh, the description. You can go and check it out. Thanks for watching the video, please subscribe for more videos like this.